Well, hello everyone and welcome to Channel 42. My name is Wilma and today I am very excited because I am finally going to get to post this episode, The Great Lakes Part 1 and 2. If this, these two episodes do anything, I hope they're going to demonstrate how much of an impact the little people can do. Because we can either create or we can destroy as individuals and this can sh will show you what we can construct out of the worst of what we do. It starts though with a very big picture, the Great Lakes Project, and it doesn't get much bigger than the Great Lakes. So there's a link down below for the Great Lakes Project. Please do look it up and take a look and see at what they're trying to do. Now, part of the work is they do a art project every year. They commission five artists. They submit their um, projects, and if they're chosen, they get to do whatever and however they interpret the meaning of the Great Lakes as it applies to them. So one of my favorite artists, Suzanne of Peaceful Arts, was one of five artists commissioned. This would be two years ago now, as of this taping. And she chose as her subject, the sturgeon. I mean, what she does with paint is amazing enough, but what she does with the mosaics is just a whole other, a whole other art form, and it is incredible. But, link to Suzanne's art studio below, link to the sturgeon in below. Most people have not really seen a sturgeon. I've seen a sturgeon in the wild. I was about mm, seven, eight years old. We were fishing by the river. I don't recall if I was fishing or not, but the fellow down to my right caught a sturgeon. And I remember this massive I mean, to me, it had to be, it must be probably four feet or so. Massive, silvery, grayish, metallic looking, long, skinny fish. Ugly, ugly. But I remember being told that that's a sturgeon. I do not think that he actually kept it. I think he put it back in the river. But the sturgeon is such an excellent symbol because it's long lived. It's a bottom feeder. And if it lives to say 100 years, imagine what it has seen come to the bottom of the lakes and the rivers. Which brings us to a secondary part of Suzanne's project. She did the sturgeon itself in mosaic, but within the outline of the sturgeon, she had an outline of Lake Erie. Of course, Haldeman Norfolk, both counties border on Lake Erie. Then she had, well, a step back here. It wasn't just that the artists were to convey a message of some sort of their relationship or how they perceived the Great Lakes according to their own feelings. The crucial part of this exhibit is that while they oversee the main part of it, they had to solicit help from everyday people, which meant notices out on Facebook or whatever and saying, hey, I need somebody to help me with uh, a Great Lakes project, da 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 da. Um, I forget whether she actually said, we're making fish scales, but when you inquired, she said, yeah, we're making fish scales. So I thought, okay, this is a good way for me to become more involved in the community. I can just walk over there now that I've got my walker. And so for a number of weeks, we went up, I and a bunch of other people, went up for a few hours at a time and we made fish scales. This brings us to another really important part of this because we didn't just make fish scales. We have another agency there is another agency that comes into here. Well, it's not an agency really. We have another grassroots group is the word I want to use. 
cleaning up Norfolk, a bunch of concerned citizens who do, well, what do you do on your weekend, on your spare time? They go out and they clean the streets. They clean the roadways, they clean the riverbanks, they clean the stream banks. Anywhere they find garbage, they pick it up. And you'll see a notice will go on their Facebook page and they'll say, oh, uh, doing a clean up meeting at such and such. Anybody who wants to come along, do so. So they will clean up along streams, along rivers, along beaches, but they go one step further and somewhere on their page, I'll see if I can find the link, they went into the water to clean up. Now, if you've ever cut your foot on something in the water when you've been having a nice swim or something and had it spoiled because you slashed your foot, you really appreciate this. So not only were they cleaning along the river banks, they were cleaning in the lake and cleaning the beach for all of us. Then they washed and dried the smaller, the smaller bits and then they brought it to us. We made scales from the junk that they picked up out of the lake. And as you will see, as you look through the, I don't know how many minutes it is, but as you look through how the various people constructed their scales, you can see how much was pulled out of the streams. And when you see the final product, which is just behind me here, you're going to be amazed. Now from junk came something beautiful, but we have to remember it was individuals who by themselves, one at a time, made this mess. But it was pulled out. It was, well, that which was old was made new again. It's beautiful. I am just so proud to be part, to be part of it. See, I'm getting weepy. You think sometimes that do you leave a mark in society or not? I look at this and I think of the weeks that all of us spent putting these scales together. As you can see, it was just black goop and sticking stuff into it. And Suzanne's genius and Suzanne's artistic eye put them together. And this is what it made. Just to hang out the one day. Yeah. And here it comes floating. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, accidents happen. Yeah. It's absorbed from that plastic that it ate. We get to have that. Or, or maybe the birds do, or, or you know, you know, the food chain, how it works. I don't have to go into that. But it ultimately ends up in, in our belly and in our water systems. But one of the things that I was shocked by. Oh yes, here's some of the balloon ribbons. So these lovely, lovely ribbons, they look so gorgeous. They get together so easily, and then they get wrapped around like we do. You can do whatever you like, that's the fun part of this. And plastic twine. I mean, why? Why would you do that? 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 Get found. Yeah, I wanted to get a few. Right now, there's a vehicle in the dune. Yeah, and that's the best thing that I might walk on. Right, like we were walking last year. Was the first time we were walking along with the dune. Just saw it. Well, you should see it. And it was the strangest thing, and it's. Right there. So now this year, there's quite a bit more. It's a little bit more. It's a Firestone tire truck or yeah. something yeah. Oh, completely buried in the dune. Mm -hmm. You think how much is buried that yeah. we can't even see right now. Yeah. It, sand just covers it. Yeah. Covers it. There, we um, 
used to live in Clear done. Creek, just like right. renting a cabin before we bought a home. Yeah. And it was like right on the beach. <laughs> and we went down one day and there was a huge, One more scale. Um, oh my goodness, look at these. This is fantastic. So they're walking on plastic. <laughs> yeah. Got their hats, they got all their best. <laughs> so people are the parasite on this sturgeon. There you go. <laughs> oh, they gotta do their backs. I love the lighthouse. That's great. The use of water. There are a whole lot of things. So interesting. <laughs> okay. Look at how sparkly like this meat is. Oh, you beans. make me nervous with those scissors. <laughs> Be careful. Beautiful work nice over close here. Up with that one. Ooh. You did such a good job on this one. Yeah, that one's my one I think. That one's pretty fun. It's so shiny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one needed a close-up. Definitely needed a close-up. Yeah, it's amazing all the creations. It's actually a bit of shape. It's amazing all the shapes and colors. It's funny because, you know, when we first conceptualized the project, I had this idea and I thought, okay, you know, we're going to take the garbage and put it in the center, but we didn't know what garbage we were going to get. So it was impossible to envision it completely. Like, I didn't know what colors we were going to be able to use. I didn't know what yeah. textures even, like I had no idea. We just knew we'd make, you know, scales, what those scales would be. You know, we just had to wait until we got all the So this is obviously a next step. So what is all the green for? This is masking tape. Uh, you'll see that that inner Lake Erie portion has been masked off so that when I grout the exterior yeah. and, uh, and every time somebody makes something, it, sort of, it changes yeah. how things will. Lots of, yeah. lots of hunting ducks yeah. and whatnot in the fall. So I don't know if Suzanne's got a yep. to save this silicone. No, it ends up drying and we just take it out. Yeah. She weighs uh, 80 pounds. Yeah. 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 It's, I mean, you know, most people throw their stuff into waste. We trust our recycling, recycling to right. so, you ship know. it to Malaysia. I mean, no, but it uh, <laughs> handle it properly. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. full dress yeah. though. And I think when so when these are people, that, right? They are people. Ends, they will. He will have a hat. Are layered in together. Yeah, it's and going to be beautiful. Yeah, trying to find a so incredibly colorful hat for her. And ugly. Thank you. 